they were always very nice to you. They often wanted to take you on adventures with them when they went out into the field, but they knew that would be dangerous and dumb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you remember them fondly, and you actually remember the last time you saw them. They were wearing very peculiar gear, and they're about to walk into somewhere very, very, very bleak, dark, and abysmal. Them and one other. But they did tell you that they'll be back. And then they'll tell you about all of the cool stuff they did. This was when you were younger, though. Like, you're like, they crouched down to tell you this. Or not crouched down, but leaned down to tell you this info. Mm hmm. And then they then they left, and okay. you had never seen them since. Okay. So it's always just gonna kind of get kind of. What's the word? I sort of glaze over. You just sort of like <laughs> thinking, like processing that sort of instant kind of memory thing. Like, oh yeah, that's something. <laughs> I got R for them already. Hmm. I think I have R for them already. Let me just. Ah. Uh, uh, Crop some stuff, maybe, if I can fucking find it. <laughs> Hello, Feywild Saori, are you there? Hmm? Yeah, you kind of dozed off for a second. What was that about? You okay? Oh, um, I think I remembered something. Like good something, What's bad that? something, neutral something. I Sir, think so. Sir Grayson comes over. Well, that's good to hear, although I think I share the concerns of everyone else. What, what did you remember? Uh, I, I think I remembered the person that I asked about the question. My aunt, I think. Your aunt? I think so. I think I must have an aunt. Although I don't think it's blood-related. I'm not too sure, but anyway, I, it's all I remembered was she left she left me i think i remember being upset um she left with somebody else to go somewhere and said she would be back and i never saw her again oh uh. rose i'm assuming she's not, she's not to give off that she almost wants to cry <laughs> it's like oh it's happy <laughs> no Yeah, I... So, are you... Are you trying to find uh, them? I don't know, but apparently they're looking for me. I'm glad I'm not dead anyway, I, I know that much. I'm really glad I'm not dead, actually, but... Do you want me to send it to uh, General? Or do you want me to send it all on you, what they look like? Just send it to me for now. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair, fair I'm curious. Enough. Fair enough. <laughs> But then it's left on you to describe what they look like. Ooh. That is true, you suckers! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool art! There is something. Never mind. Never is that mind. from somewhere? It is. Oh. Uh yeah, okay, oh, wait, yeah, wait, yeah, not, yeah. Not, not, not two, I guess. It, it, yeah, I, yeah. I said, I said two because it got delayed for mm -hmm. the, the development got cut and stuff like that, yeah. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I remember now. I remember. I think I watched yeah. like, the start of the walkthrough, realized it was kind of horrorish, and went, ah, no. It's okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's sort, of, it sort of is. It's very jump scary. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I can't handle. So I just went, haha, no. Um, that's a game. Ah, <laughs> uh, but alas, for people a bit more ballsy than me. Um,. But yeah, cool art though. <laughs> cool art, very cool art. But yeah. yeah. Your curiosity, are those clothes accurate or? Um, mm, mostly. Mostly. 
I'd say the coloration's probably different, the patterning of them are probably different, but the aesthetic of them is uh, correct. Oh, okay. Okay. That's, that's interesting. It's very weird, isn't it? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And wouldn't you guys like to know? <laughs> <laughs> this is just like the spider. This is like when you met Zelig the first time all over again. Like, wouldn't you guys like to know? <laughs> yes, I would. I want to know the crazy centipede. Yeah, and you guys did. Yeah. And I take it she wasn't wearing this like when she left. She was when so she I... left. She was. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is not like this is the this is the weird attire that she had on. Oh, right, right. For okay, her mission. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I missed. Yeah, up. she doesn't normally look like this. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna comment. Oh yeah, she had that weird get up on. Don't know what that was about. I we got virtual cage. Like, what is she on about? <laughs> <laughs> like, just saying all the like uh, random uh, details. It was just like uh, what? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I, I do. Uh. <laughs> so Grayson looks to the left and right, like to you guys. It's like, uh, are you <laughs> okay? It seems you're getting a lot of memories back, or at least a good. A good one. At least a lot of details about one. I don't know if I'm okay. Is that um? Yeah. Do you feel a sudden urge of murderous intent? You're crying. No, no, no I'm not crying. No. You no. are. He points at your face, and as if you just realize it, you feel you detect, you feel him like a stream of tears that go off the corner of your eye. Um, okay, um... You actually didn't notice. <laughs> but the rest of you saw it, and thought it was just a normal reaction. But then it's like, oh, she okay, doesn't that's, know what's happening. That's, that's, um, that's, that's, I don't like what my emotions are doing. I'm just gonna go over here for a bit, you know, just calm <laughs> down a little. I'll, I'll see you all later. Roker you know. lifts up one of the wings of the <laughs> grafted Draco. Go <laughs> <Got rid of here. laughs> Yeah, no, she's just, she's just gonna stand over here for a bit and just kinda, you Have know, <laughs> let her emotions do do the thing and then just kinda... Lame. Goes back under. I can't hear you! She just sort of sobs through it <laughs> a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh there's so a Grissa just goes over to you and throws his cloak around. He doesn't say anything. Mm -hmm. He just sort of puts his arm on your shoulder and, like, brings you close and... Just you know, you sort of chill together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you know, just just vibing. <laughs> yeah, just just vibing. Yeah. He has a problem like this. Yeah. What would it be like a wisdom? There. It would be like a charisma. Sympathetic crime. What would sympathetic crime be? Wisdom or charisma? Are you sociopathic? <laughs> <laughs> if so, there's a deception check. <laughs> no. Uh, I think I, I think Rose just kind of gets caught up in the moment a little bit, but then catches herself. It's like oh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not going through. <laughs> so Varric asks how to fix Lena. You don't get fucked. He needs a shard of ends. Ah, uh, oh, to like sever the thing, basically. Bingo. Just cut well... it, and he he actually drinks from the font. Like his one of his eyes, his left eye twitches. And then he just sort of lets the rest of the water cup between his two hands, splash down back into the water, and Abigail looks at him. What's wrong? I'm an idiot. We're all idiots. Join the club. Not Earth. <laughs> but why this instance? We had the short events. Of course it could cut something short like that. But I do like Oh, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. And the next There's yeah, one of in R&D um... right now. There's no rush for it. In fact, if you're that concerned, we you just looks at Abigail. You could probably just use sending and tell them this. I don't know if that's be that simple. She looks at Varric. No, I. I gotta do it. Well, there you have it. He's got to go commit surgery with a shard of end scalpel, so to speak. <laughs> mm. As you do. As you do. Well, positive, you know it now. Which is about a thousand times better than you had 20 minutes ago. Right. Yeah. 
I know what our royal governor would say, but if you do fix Lena, perhaps you can return to active duty. <laughs> uh, probably. I don't know if Governor McSilverick would allow that, though. Only one way to find out. Right. At the very least, you'd probably give her the capability to, like, I don't know, sleep a night. Maybe. Not feel the end of her span coming short. Yeah. Well, that would explain why... Never mind. What? Nothing. What? Please. You're not gonna like what I'm going to say, and I'm not gonna say it because I love you. He just thinks on that. What would... There's very limited options here. He begins AOL dial-up-ing noise in his head. <laughs> can can I, Rose try to, like, what? whisper in Abigail's ear? Is like, is it Jesse? He doesn't respond back. Roll me your stuff. That's a 15. Act. Does he have a passive perception of, like, 20? Oh, well, there we go. He would have had advantage, so it would have been 15v15. <sighs> oh, wait, no, he, I didn't turn my guy into us. Oh, well, okay, so yeah, so he would win. Even if he rolls a 1, he would win. Inspira- no. I don't even have that. <laughs> he slowly nods at you, and he's just like, oh, god. There. I didn't say anything. That was Rose. So don't hate me for it. I really she gives you like a sheepish, mischievous grin. <laughs> like you just walked yourself into being her perfect scapegoat. <laughs> I really need to work on that. The whole not the stealthy thing. <sighs> uh, I have no clue what Raze is going to ask. I already sent it over to Fred that he gets one such question. Does uh, Rilker can Julian, hello. Uh, does uh, Grayson get a question? Uh, Sir Grayson and Rilker get a question. Rilker's not going to tell you what his question is, though. <laughs> I saved your life! <laughs> you also almost killed me. This is true. Dude, bounce is out. Is it how to be the coolest red cap? Or not red cap, red Would you like to know? <laughs> God. Uh, Sir Grace's question is actually very, 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 very simple. It's very simple. Mm. It's literally how can I be a better knight? <laughs> cash, cash money. Man, oh, oh, Tango, oh, I booped you. I'm sorry, Tango. I'm sorry. My man, it's actually a Boy Scout. He is actually a Boy <laughs> Scout. <laughs> it tells Austin. him the location of some item that could help him with that. If you're in the fight with else. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell the exact <laughs> moment Garth clicked? You can figure, you can figure it out instantly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No, not like this. Uh, if I bled on your hat because it's very dry since you fell in water, would you tell me? No. Damn it, I thought that would work. Don't move him outside, out from underneath <laughs> the Draco, alright? He's not moving out from there, alright? You control him in combat, I control him out of combat. Getting in, smiting, smitten, smited, smitten. whatever. I just, I just wanted him to know, you know, <laughs> as long as he knows. Hands over here. <laughs> Witch sucker goes, digs his snout underneath the Draco's body, and grabs it by a leg, and and he doesn't even like <laughs> resist. Roker just has his arms crossed like a kid being dragged out of bed <laughs> against his will. He just has his arms crossed yeah, as he's getting dragged Roker. through the dust and the dirt and the loose sediment. And then once Witch Doctor lets go like a dog that brought his toy over to its favorite spot, Roker just gets back up, walks back to the Draco, and gets back under it. <laughs> <laughs> Not a word was spoken between them. It just goes but like that. Sense. Yeah. It's as long as he knows. As long as he knows. I would just oh, leave call over, like yell over, Leave it be, Rose. A man's dreams can be his own. Ooh, getting philosophical. I mean, you just bring somebody back from the dead, so, you know. You're crying in the corner. 
Yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah, sorry, I'll get back yeah, to that. She, she, she's speaking <laughs> Celestial and all this other shit, yeah. It's, a, it's been a very weird past 30 minutes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, at least we're rusted. <laughs> Does Run imbibe his drink ever, or do you hang on to it? Uh... I think it was. If, I feel like it was made clear to him that he can. Yeah. But also, he definitely goes over in here in this corner to think about it. Fair enough. Big funk. Fair enough. Uh, Rose is going to ask a question. That question is going to be. Ah. Uh, How. Oh, I can't wait for Genevieve to not be exhausted because now it'll be a very weird thing to see her fight hmm. alongside people. I, mm-hmm. I, I, what was that Blade Master Faye's name? Oh, uh, uh, he was like a Mistado. Thank you, Mistado. Lord Mistado. So he's not the you know, I kind of wish I had his guidance right now. Say wish. <laughs> we got an spell spells out here. No. <laughs> uh, taking a page from uh, her shade, because I wrote. I'm so glad I wrote this down. Because you said a phrase of uh, slayers don't behold of themselves the powers that be; they hold behold themselves the powers they are. Uh, so Rose is going to ask, probably out loud as well. Uh, how can she become a better tool to dismantle? Uh, the traitors. Ah, oh, this is a good opportunity to ask about scoring him, though. Nah, fuck scoring him. I want to kill the traitors. <laughs> they made it personal. Fair. <laughs> I, I want, mind you, she will spend notable time trying to kill all the scoring him, or finding a way around it. But it's personal right now. <laughs> yeah, Fia gets a very itchy back all of a sudden, whatever she is. <laughs> you get like, your oh, answer. Being talked about. You have to find a way to counter their technology. And that way will be found through Ori. Did she hear this in her head, or? It, not really hear it, but you get it in your head. Have you ever, like, just recalled something, like, like you've known it all along and you could just rattle it off every single piece of the information? I, I imagine it's something like that. Mm-hmm. Right. I feel like she just looks over her shoulder very inquisitively, but doesn't say anything because Ori's should... kind of an emotional record. I now. should say the answer <laughs> isn't Ori. Hmm. It's found through Ori. Found through Ori. I like kind of what she sort of knows, but not currently, kind of thing. Hmm. Who knows? Uh. Crazy man. Yeah, who knows? Who's knows? Right? That's crazy. Whoa, yeah. Wild. I know, man. Ori's too busy crying at the moment. So. <laughs> Anything else? Because if not, I think you guys really only have one way to go forward. To the door whatever, whatever. I don't know what the question Rays will ask. Look at that later. And Rogkurtz's question is his own. Little man with big plans. All right. This question is just like, how do I murder sort of her? like it quickly walks over, almost like aggressively. Mm-hmm. And just comes up to Genevieve. If you could have everything you wanted, would you give that up to help someone else? Of course. That is all I would ever want. Now, at least. I've been to the other side. I've walked the veil between. He looks over to Grayson 
and then already knows what he's gonna say. He just nods at you once, just very, like, curtly. Got it. So walks away and pops the top of the flask open. And know my question. You can ask it out loud, or you can send it to me. What's the worst thing about just jumping headlong into this pool? You know, I thought I was going to ask how to defeat Onibaba. And then what are you going to ask if you said you thought? He drinks it. I'm gonna ask, how do I save my people? Nods. So do you think you could get like one of those like a uh, soda machine things and put this in there? I just realized I was muted this whole time. <laughs> oh, I thought you were oh. talking about. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, yeah, I thought you were as well. <laughs> I could just got an extra chromosome like two minutes ago. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Stupid soda stream comment. Really sold it. Yeah, so when you started video. interrupting, I was like, I was like, you bitch, and I was like, oh, I'm muted. I'm the bitch. Yeah, no, I thought you'd over like tape it or something in the background. Nah, I, I'm an idiot. I, I thought your answer was gonna be two words. What words do you think? You can't. Funny, I was actually going into that in my monologue. Oh. Apparently, it was a monologue. Uh, <laughs> you get a vision, one which is semi familiar. Familiar in its rough and jagged. Oh geography of the jagged expanse uh -huh. but it looks far different than any outgoings and reports that you've heard it is a bit more civilized tamed now you can't to a degree there is no undoing the burdens placed upon the more arrogant casts of the ordinate that is a burden earned. But that is not a suffering inherited, necessarily. Whether or not they'll remain content is a thing of diplomacy and of the future. But in this fast, zooming vision, bouncing around to the different corners of the jagged expanse, you do see and a return a resurgence maybe not so for the hills although you do see them striding around the forests and jungles of the jagged expanse maybe not for the frost giants who are locked to the cold north of the jagged expanse although they very much prefer it there but 
you know in your heart of hearts this next path that you are in, zooming on is to an outpost that has been laid or rather designated dead. But it is not. When you take a peek in there, you see plenty of stone giants performing their assorted arts and crafts, their visions, their dreams. You bounce around again to a volcano somewhere in the jagged expanse where you see fire giants happily rivaling one another in contests of craftsmanship. Off to the mountains, the cloud giants. But you never see any storm giants. Save for one. It's very weird seeing him having never actually met him. But you know in your heart of hearts who he is. And it seems that, at least in this vision, he is alone. Perhaps there are others of his ominous kind away from the jagged expanse. But regardless, your vision does fade with one last scene. It's of Drift Weaver's base still. Looking a far more uh, expanded and some dimensions of their architecture a bit more well, a bit more giant. Conforming to new neighbors, I guess you call it. Can there be peace? Yes. Is it likely? Who knows? But this is a land unclaimed by anyone. Or rather, it was once claimed by yours. Alliance willing. Perhaps it will return to such. Once the evils that slumber below it are put to rest, their final rest, one who's had a stay of execution for an eternity. But until that evil is executed, it will continue corrupting the land. And it, this land will be no one's but his. And that's where your vision ends. I think it just like like the weight of the world falls on him. You suddenly heave and buckle at this weight. Physical, psychosomatic, spiritual, who knows. And as you buckle Ben knee even you see Genevieve, even in her exhausted capacity, like, begin to slip off the elk and try to, like, a cripple person move over to help you. Uh, can, can Rose help Genevieve go over there? The elk doesn't let her go off, but the whole elk just moves over. Pop. Thank you. In that case, Rose is also going to tackle her. She's worried about God. What did you, what did you ask? I wanted to know if my people could be free. And then I, I realized... Just... Sorry. I think I realized the burden of a king. Heavy is the head that wears a crown. Yeah, take it from me. It is the duty of nobility, and especially of royalty, to have such burdens. I suppose all kings are the only one of their kind. But I think some more than others. There are many a type of noble, and many a type of king. Our own history is a proof of that. I... I don't think... I don't know if there's many storm giants left. 
or if he's the only one. He takes a deep breath. It doesn't take an insight roll from you or anyone to know, like, Genevieve doesn't really... Uh, she doesn't know the impact that that sort of statement has, like, in its factual sense. But she knows the impact it has on you in an emotional sense. So she takes a deep breath. I'm sure there are ways of confirming or denying that. Yeah. I suppose so. So, I... with the information you've gained, do you think it is possible, though? It is possible. Oh, well, then you'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm not saying that, like, as a nonchalant thing. You're just a force of nature, and I have 100% confidence you will figure it out. All giants are forces of nature. We're children of the marches. Well, at least the world's spring. Eh? Genevieve tilts her head. I did not know this. It doesn't matter. Don't don't mind me. Uh, just don't just don't mind me. All right. So moving on. I'm oh, one away from seventy one. <laughs> I know, dude. You're right. That's crazy. What if I rolled again? I'm just curious. What if I just like got a bit? Okay, Anyways, so seventy it is. <laughs> I am not yeah, rolling yeah. good on these today. <laughs> you, know you know what? Not all of you do a roll. I'm, I'm not saying I'm taking them. I'm just, I'm just curious. Is it just me, oh, or, yeah. or is this just an unlucky day for us today? For me. And before before two, me. so ninety-five. Oh, so I don't think I rolled below ninety. Well, today, yeah, we was... rolling. We are not rolling. Okay, wait, wait. Maybe if I put Red's name. Or raise his name rather. <laughs> Maybe yeah. the, we'll be like, be like, it'll be like, yeah, yo, check the system. <laughs> yeah, it'll be like, hey, Reboot. yeah, you roll low, raise. Yep. <laughs> there it is. I, oh my god. So, anyways, all right, oh, well, all right. you took cool. it. Oh, that's a what? Yeah. Alas, uh, hey. <laughs> see, yes. I, I see why he goes by raise. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. Yeah, like here's Varus, I believe. Horatius uh, or something like that, if I remember correctly. So R the third, gotcha. Yeah. Raise. Actually, I don't know why I bothered rolling, considering how you're the one that said. Alright, let's have a repeat. Let's go for there's so much cool stuff happening today. Um, Ruhan, can what, 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 what did we do before? You rolled religion. That's what it was. Can you roll religion with an advantage, and then that will set the DC for an actual D100 roll? And before he gets a one, two ones on advantage. You did get a long That'd rest of drinking the juice, though. So if you really need, he did. To, he did okay. benefit from a long rest of drinking the the juice. Yes, the juice. <laughs> so DC is twenty four or below. Just, just good. roll good, right? <laughs> just yep. roll good. It's just that. It's just that simple. Honestly, I don't know why we we're so bad at this instruction. Yeah, I don't know why people playing D and D always complain about like things that are happening in their favor, dude. Like, why don't you just just oh. roll good, right? Exactly. I mean, just look at my crit ratio. You know. Simple exactly. as. Simple. Yeah, it's simple fine. as. Mm -hmm. I love this fucking meme so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shall I roll the D one hundred or show you? I already rolled the D100, if you want it. I actually rolled two. Both of them were below that. Alright. Okay, shit. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Rolled an 11 and rolled a 21, BB. You talk about margin. The margins. Margin United. Our gods of nature. Or our wardens, if you want to term them as that. There's actually... No, I'll tell you guys that maybe way, way, way later. You talk about the world spring. And, and I do this. 
There's a lot of god power going on over here. Yes, actually. It's even I holier! don't know <laughs> why. Actually, well, I, should, I should make it more teal. Okay, I'm not going for actual full neon teal, because that, that'll, that'll, be, that'll be actually blinding to us. So, we'll use this one. Hey, perfect, That's actually. That's color. Yeah. Very fitting. It kind of looks like this green over here, weirdly enough. Yeah, sort of, yes. The water changes color. As you remark about the world spray. And you all turn your attention to the sudden shift in the water. It glows. Like, this water is glowing now. Oh, what did you...